All right, so let's see. I don't wanna zoom in too much because I'm gonna be moving that catalog in here in a second. But these are the dragonfly cards that we're gonna to make tonight. And you can actually get these cards free, all four of the card supplies, okay? So this is the first card we're going to make this evening. Actually, I think it's gonna be our second. Here's another one. And here's one. <laughs> Thanks, Carol. Hi, Dawn. And here's the other one, okay? So these are the cards. Now, ladies, you can get all of the supplies to create these cards absolutely free. Everything is die cut for you. I do not stamp for you per Stampin' Up! policy, okay? I'm not allowed to do any of the stamping for the pieces, okay? But you can get them free tonight by placing an order in my online store. And my online store address is shop with BeCreativeStamping.com. You'll want to use this hostess code. Thank you, Cindy. You're gonna wanna make use this hostess code so that you can get the supplies free um, just by placing your order. So if you wanna create tonight's supplies, you'll receive the supplies for all four Dragonfly cards. You place a $50 order or more in my online store, Wednesday, March 17th through Monday, March 22nd. Now today is free shipping at Stampin' Up! And so many of you have already placed an order today, and that means you are getting these card supplies free, okay? All right, now, so if you decide to place your order and it's a minimum $50 order, you're gonna qualify for the free Stampin' Up! shipping tonight. It does end at midnight mountain time, which will be like um, 2 a.m. Eastern, okay? Um, you'll also earn a B on your B Rewarded card. And here's my B Rewarded card. And when you um, purchase $35 in product, you'll earn a B. And for every $35 in product purchased, you earn a B. And then when you've earned 10 Bs, you get $35 in free product. So you don't wanna miss out on that, okay? Now you'll also get my free tutorial. And the tutorial looks like this. And this month, not only are you going to receive 16 project ideas, but there are 16 stamping techniques in this tutorial. And this is free with a minimum $35 order, okay? So supplies for tonight's cards, all four, plus your free shipping. I'm gonna ship these card supplies to you free. You will not have to pay for that either. Envelopes are not included. And this is the hostess code, all right? So anyone placing an order between today through Monday night at midnight will receive the card kit free, all right? So if you have any questions on that, um, just let me know. But I wanted to go on and get that out of the way. And I see, um, I wanna say hello to a few more people and we are gonna get started. I'm so glad you all like the cards. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Margaret. Hi, Deborah. Thank you, Carol. I'm glad you like the cards. Sally is from sunny California. Good to have you, uh, Sally. It's been dreary here all day in Virginia. All right. Hi, Linda, good to have you. And Sue is ready to learn about the Dragonfly Suite. And so here we go, all right? Okay, so um, if you have your mini with you tonight, um, we are on page 24. I Look, well, you can't see it. I've got a little bee sticking out over here. I'll show you that in a minute. Whoops. Okay, so page 24 is the beginning of the Dragonfly Suite. And when there are two bundles in a suite, I like to call it a mega suite, because that's really what it is. 
On page 24, you're going to get um, five card samples right here, okay? So this is a great starting point. And you are going to notice that I used one of the cards from the book tonight, and it's right here. I changed up just a couple of things. Hey, Joyce, welcome. So good to have you. Hey, Amanda. All right, and on page 25, this is where I'm going to show you everything that's in the suite, okay? So the first stamp set I'm going to show you is Dragonfly Garden. Now, with the Dragonfly Garden, you can actually bundle, save 10%, and you'll get the stamp set and the Dragonfly Punch. And so the Dragonfly Punch, as you can see, has two different size dragonflies in it. All right, so that is the first stamp set. Now the second stamp set is called Garden Wishes, and we'll get um, into more detail regarding this stamp set next week, okay? I need to cut out the coordinating dies that go with this stamp set. So let me show you what they look like. These are the coordinating dies, and I haven't really had time to stamp and cut them out yet, but I'll try and point out a few things that coordinate with it. This piece can be cut out with a die, as well as this piece. You can also cut out the B. Now, you already know that I was super excited when I saw this darling B, and you can cut it out. Not only that, but you can cut out two Bs at one time. And then we've got some beautiful greetings that can be used. Now, what I love about both of these stamp sets, the greetings, and they're interchangeable between stamp sets, but there are a ton of really sweet greetings. All right, so really, really fun. This is also a great bundle. Now let me show you the paper. The paper um, is available in six by six inches. All right, so that's the way it comes. It's not any bigger. It is six by six. Cynthia, I'm so glad you like the dragonflies. Hi, Lynn, and hello, Gail. We've been waiting on you, girl. Glad you're here. Now, with the dandy, the dandy garden designer paper, you're going to get um, 12 different designs, okay? So you're going to get four of this design, all right? And this is what, I'll zoom in so you can kind of get a better idea of what it looks like. Here's one piece, isn't this beautiful? And here is the opposite side. This is one of my favorite pieces. Now, you know, I never thought I would be excited about dandelions because they grow wild in the yard and they're a nuisance, right? But these dandelions are gorgeous. So this is one side and this is the other, all right? I'm so glad you all like the paper. Here is another piece and guess what? The punch coordinates with the paper. Now what that means is I can punch out these butterflies with this punch. All right. Carol, did you see the bee? Because I know you like bees as much as I do. There is a bee in one of the stamp sets. All right. So that's that piece of paper. And again, you get four of each piece that I'm showing you. There are 12 designs. Here are some more dandelions. Who knew we would love them so much? And then here's the other side, which are more dandelions. And they're tiny ones, okay? All right, here's a fun piece right here. And here's the opposite side. And this is in Mossy Meadow. So some of the coordinating colors, Mossy Meadow, um, bumblebee, misty moonlight. You can also add in a little old olive with that. Here's the bumblebee color. 
Isn't that pretty? Um, let's see. Uh, Calypso Coral is another um, one of the coordinating colors. Here we are here with the lines. All right, I wanna say this is Rich Razzleberry and not um, Black, no, it's gonna be Blackberry Bliss. So Blackberry Bliss coordinates with this suite as well. All right, and look at that, isn't that pretty? And then, he, but Carol, this is going to be our favorite piece because I know Carol Helms loves bees as much as I do. <laughs> and look at these bees, Carol. And guess what? You can use the bee dye that comes in the set and cut out these bees using the dye. And not only that, but they're two bee dyes. So you can cut out two bees at one time. All right? Isn't that fun? And then this is the Misty Moonlight side right there. Here um, are just some lines in Misty Moonlight. And then this is Calypso Coral. Who knew we would get so excited about dandelions? And here again, we've got some, I mean, the paper is, is just gorgeous, just gorgeous. And here's another piece. We're gonna use this sheet tonight. And there's the opposite side. And I think I am back for the repeat, I am. So here it repeats, so you get four of each sheet that I showed you. So that's a total of 48 sheets, and it's available um, six by six inches, okay? And it's $11.50, all right? So that's our dandelion paper. And then we've got this mossy meadow braided trim, all right? So we're gonna use this tonight as well, so you'll see how it's used. And then we have some darling, and I mean darling, ladybugs. Hey, Pam, welcome. So these little cuties are right here. Let's see if I can get them in the camera. And then let me see if I can tell you how many come in a container. You get 20 of these little ladybugs. Now, the ladybugs were part of my embellishment share. So if you purchased my embellishment share, you've got 10 ladybugs, okay? And you can use, I attach my ladybugs with glue dots and we'll do that tonight, okay? Hi, Sandy, you are not too late. We are just going over the Dandy Garden Suite beginning on page 24, all right? All right, I'm not done, ladies. There's more to show you. We also have this, let me see what it's called, the Dandy Laser Cut Paper, okay? So let me show you this. This is the laser cut paper. Now look at these beautiful dragonflies. I wish they had made this one a die cut. And here are some more pieces and here are some um, ferns there, but these are just lovely. And we will use these next week, okay? <laughs> the ladybugs are adorable. Sue says, the ladybugs are so cute. I like them because they don't bulge like the acorns. Oh, you're right, I hadn't even thought of that, Sue. But they are much flatter. The ladybugs are flat and they'll be much easier for you to mail. All right, then we get this beautiful laser cut paper, all right? And so here it is, isn't this beautiful? Now we'll use some of this next week, in next week's class, okay? So that you'll know how to use that. But I wanna show you the sample in the catalog. They've used it right here, just by adding a few ladybugs, a greeting, and a couple of dragonflies, okay? So that's the laser cut paper. And by the way, it's two full sheets. Um, I guess they're eight by 10 size, and they come in a package like this with cardboard, so they will not get wrinkled, okay? All right, so now 
told you I'm not done yet. This suite has it all. These are actually note cards. So for those of you who don't like to cut your own card stock, this may be the way that you want to go. And these are the Dandy Gar Garden cards and envelopes. So here's the card which you would fold and you can add ribbon, you can add a greeting, you can add some dandelions or bees. And this is what it looks like. And then check out the coordinating envelope. This is the best part. And I believe you get, you actually get 20 of these in a package, all right? So 20 of these, no cards and envelopes, do come in a package and it's $10. So um, ladies, you, you can't beat that. You can't go to Hallmark and purchase 20 cards for $10, right? So these are the envelopes. Oh, and by the way, they have this beautiful inside flap, okay? So yeah, they're really, really pretty. And to go along with the cards, let me show you this. We've got these memories and more cards, all right? Now, where's Carol again? Miss Carol Helms, she's my bee girl. She loves bees like I do. And look at this card, Carol. Isn't that cute? This is hooray for today. So you could purchase that. You could pop it up on this card, write a note inside, and mail it. So these cards are very, very pretty. Um, oh, look at this one. Look at this card. You could do the same here. Isn't that beautiful? It would, it, just by adding that little card. And here's another one. I mean, these are just so pretty. Let's see what the back looks like. There's the back. Just super pretty. Now, I know some of you already have the suite. Do you have the memories and more cards? Isn't that pretty? Here's another one. Thinking of you, you could pop that up on there with the dimensional and you've got a card. I know, I know, it's too cute. Time together is time well spent. There's the opposite side. So some of it coordinates, actually all of it coordinates with the designer paper. Some things are meant to be so pretty. And there's one, and then this is so very grateful. Let's see if I can put that back. And then this card here actually matches the note card, and it says happy thoughts. So you could write some happy thoughts. You could include those to the inside, to the recipient. Here's one, family and friends. Today was a great day. You can let someone know that you had a great day with them. Together is my favorite place to be. Oh, I love that. How cute is that? So you get the idea. There's some really, really pretty cards here to embellish with. Life's an adventure. And smile. And blessed. And this is our happy place. So those are the smaller cards, and I believe they usually measure three by four inches. And now guess what? We have larger ones. And I think these cards will also fit right on here, all right? So look at that. Wouldn't that be beautiful and just stamp some words right there? I mean, that's all you would need. So that's one card. And let's see, I'll show you these real quick. You could journal on these. Our wonderful life, real life. Aren't they pretty? So these can definitely, definitely go um, on the card. They can go inside of the card if you want. Oh, look at this one. This looks like a recipe card, doesn't it? Look at this one. I could, I could like use a whole pack of this, like, um, you know, 20 or 30 of just that one. Look at that, cute. And then you get stickers. All right, Carol, watch out. I'm gonna show you some stickers now. 
Look at the bee. There's the bee sticker. And you've got the dandelions. Who knew that we could be so excited over weeds? <laughs> and I, you know, I wonder, we are a global company. So I'm wondering, are dandy, do, do dandelions grow throughout the entire world? You know, I have no idea. Here are some more bees right here. So just super fun, and those are the stickers that go with it. So wanted you to see that, certainly not to be missed. And I think that's now everything in the entire suite. So thank you. <laughs> thank you for um, letting me show you everything, okay? Well, we're gonna get started this evening, and that's not the card we're gonna start with. We're gonna start with this one right here, all right? And this will be a super simple one for us to put together. So I'm gonna get my glasses on here. I've already cut my card stock, and so this card right here measures four and a quarter inches by 11 inches. And then I score it at five and a half inches. Now, if you're ever wondering how I cut my paper, please ask because I don't mind showing you how I cut the cardstock to get two cards out of one sheet of cardstock, okay? So that's not a problem. And we are going to um, use some mossy meadow cardstock. And you may want to write this down, little pen and paper. This is measuring five and a quarter inches by three and a quarter inches. And then we're gonna layer it with designer paper. That's five inches by three inches, all right? And so we're gonna tape these two together. All right. And let's see, I haven't used this dispenser since last week. So get my tape ready to run here. And then we're just going to center this. Whoops, don't stick yet. So let's just get this centered here. You all let me know if you have any questions regarding either bundle. I'm glad you like it, Marty, thank you. Okay, now before I add this, I'm gonna go ahead and do my stamping. So I'm gonna position this, okay, so that I know about how much room I have for stamping. And I'm going to use thank you for your kindness. And you're going to find that in the Dragonfly Garden stamp set, and it's right here at the bottom, okay? We're gonna use some black ink, my black memento ink. Make sure that we have enough coverage there. And we're gonna stamp about right there, okay? And then we're gonna tape this. Now, I will be giving away these cards tonight, all right? So definitely um, comment so that you can be in the drawing. So Cynthia says, dandelions grow in many places around the world. I have tasted dandelion wine. Oh my gosh, I've never tasted that, Cynthia, and I love wine. <laughs> oh, I had no idea. But you know, that makes a lot of sense because Stampin' Up! is a global company. We are all over the world. And so it would make sense that our stamp set um, would use a flower or weed that, um, you know, that's that grows everywhere, so. <laughs> oh, so Sue says, thanks, Tammy. That was my least favorite shades, but I like the way you've arranged it, and it looks cute. Oh, thank you, Sue. I am so glad. I am glad. Thank you. All right. I'm going to add that ribbon, ladies, that trim that we talked about. And if you did get my ribbon share for the mini, then, um, then you've got two and a half yards of this mossy meadow, okay? All right. Oh, 
wow, so you eat dandelion greens in the springtime. Oh, wow, Cindy, I've never heard of that. Um, Cindy, where do you live? I'm trying to remember, I'm thinking you were from Maine. That is so interesting. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna trim that twine there and I'll leave that bow about right there. And now we're going to stamp one of the dandelions. Excuse me, we're gonna stamp one of the dragonflies. <laughs> I knew what you meant, Sue. I knew that was your least favorite sheet. So now you know what to do and it's a super easy cut and it's gonna be super easy for you to make. I thought so, Cindy. I thought you were from Maine. All right. Let's see, so this is Mossy Meadow, ladies, okay? Now, one thing I want you to notice about the dragonflies is this. When you look at the stamp set, there are two different dragonflies, and you can tell they're different because of their wings. And also, this one has a solid body, and this one does not. It has more of an outline, okay? So, you, Cindy, you also make a dandelion salve. Oh, wow, I've never heard of that either. Where have I been? All right. Now, I'm going to show you something. We are going to color the wings, okay? And so, I want you to notice this image right here. They're kind of fuzzy, aren't they? And there's only one of this image, all right? Hey, Tara, you're never too late. We're happy to have you. I'm gonna use Bumblebee ink, and I'm going to take this stamp right here, and I'm just going to stamp it there. And then guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna flip it around to this side, I'm going to ink this up and I'm going to stamp again. And now I wanna show it to you close up. Hi Sandy, you're going to notice that this stamped image does not fill the wings completely, all right? Some of that ink is on the outer edges of the wings and that's okay, all right? It is not a perfect match and it's not supposed to be, all right? So let me close up this Bumblebee ink. And now we're going to use our brand new coordinating punch. We're gonna slide this in. And air punches are created to work upside down so that we can punch just like this and line everything up. There's a little dragonfly. And then this is the dragonfly that we're going to use. And we're going to pop it up. And I know you're surprised by that. All right. I'm gonna move that dragonfly out of the way. We're probably going to use it again. It does make it look like it's in flight. I know, I love, I love the dragonfly. Marty, I didn't realize you lived on Dragonfly Lane. You know, Marty, you kind of have to have this, <laughs> right? You definitely need this. Okay, and so that is our first card. How simple is that? Isn't that fun? Now, you could create this very same layout in every single sheet of the designer paper, and you would just change your card base. So I've just given you like 24 card ideas right there. So you could just make a bunch of these, add your greeting, and they're ready to go in the mail. Now I am adding a little Wink of Stella, all right? And I know some of you ladies love Wink of Stella. So I'm actually thinking about you all right now because I know who you are. And I'm just going to add it there. And this is going to be one of our first prizes tonight. Thank you, Tina. I'm so glad everybody likes it. Super simple, ladies. Super simple. All right. So that's card number one. And I'll move that out of the way. 
and let's see here. We're going to move on. This is my tray. I have found the easiest way to organize my supplies for each card is to use these trays. So if you're a demonstrator and you want to do the same sort of thing, and by the way, I use these trays for all kinds of classes and stuff. These trays are from the Dollar Tree. So one tray is a dollar, and I think I have like 25 of them, and I use them constantly. So that's just a little tip for you demonstrators, or for you ladies who like to create cards and um, need a way to organize it while you're working on it. Okay, so here's another piece of our Dragonfly um, designer paper. Yes, Lynn, very ni nice and very simple, absolutely. All right, ladies, this is a standard Whisper White card base. It's eight, yeah, it's eight and a half inches by five and a half inches. And I do score it at four and a quarter inches right there, okay? <laughs> Margaret, Margaret says, I didn't think I was gonna like the dandelion, but I love it. I know, I'm having the same trouble, Margaret. And what I found was, because I'm really, just starting to dive into these two uh, bundles. What I'm finding is, I don't, I, I like them together. You know, it's hard to have one of the bundles and not the other bundle, if that makes any sense. And that's not a good thing for me to say, is it? But it's the truth. It's like I want both of them because they do different things. You've got dies, you've got a punch, and you've got greetings and images. So, yes, yeah, Sue, the Dollar Tree. Yep, and they're rectangle. They're rectangle trays. So, I'm sure they still sell them. I have, some of my customers go in there all the time and get them. All right, designer paper. Four and a quarter inches. <laughs> and five and a half inches. Oh, Leslie, I don't think I knew that. So Leslie's, um, Leslie's in my hostess club, but Leslie's also in a stamping group. And then one of the girls in her group gave everybody one. I didn't know that. That's so cool. I mean, they're, they're super handy. We use them in our big classes. It keeps everything tidy and together. All right. So you can see that I put stamp and seal on this. And now I am just going to lay this on top. Now this is going to cover the entire card base, okay? So let's see, let me find that score line. It's a little hard for me to see, but I think that's it. All right, and then I'm gonna close this and there's my card base, okay? So super, super easy, all right? Now the next step is <clears throat> these two pieces of paper. This is Whisper White and this is Bumblebee. <clears throat> now my Whisper White is measuring two inches wide and four and a half inches long, okay? And these measurements will be over on my blog beginning Friday, okay? Um, let's see. Um, it is two and one eighth inch wide <clears throat> and it's four and five eighths in inches long, okay? And we're actually going to stamp on this piece and we are going to use this stamp uh, image right here and this is on block I and let me show you which stamp set. It is in the Dragonfly Garden, which has the coordinating punch. All right, so this is the one we're using. And we're gonna use the Black Memento ink again. Now this time, I have a reason for using this, okay? I'm using this color because I'm going to color with my Stampin' Blends, and I don't want the black ink to run. All right, so let me get this inked up well. I think that'll do it. And I'm just gonna stamp it right in the center. Okay, so there it is. Isn't that beautiful? Tina says, as a little girl, my grandma told me if you see a dragonfly, they are carrying angels from heaven on their wings. 
you know, Tina, I think I've heard that before or a variation of that and I had forgotten that. So that's super sweet, super sweet. All right, so this we are going to color, all right, and we'll do that in a second. <clears throat> now the next thing I want to show you is this piece of white paper, okay? And you may want to write down the measurements for this one. This is measuring um, two and three quarter inches long, okay? And then the, the width here is um, one and one eighth, all right? <clears throat> yeah, I've heard a variation of that for sure, and I had forgotten that. I remember that from my childhood as well. All right, I'm gonna show you something, okay? Let me show you the card again. Did I ever show you the card? I can't remember if I showed it to you or not. I don't think so. But I want you to look at this stitching, all right? And I wanna show you where that stitching is from. And one of my customers, Mary Kay, and she may be watching, I know her daughter is, Mary Kay asked me about this dye on Saturday. She wanted to know if I liked it. So I'm trying to find it for you in my book. Go to, you'll be on page 72 if you decide to turn to your book. And it's called the Stitched with Whimsy Dyes. All right? And these dyes do this whimsical stitch all right, and they're squares and they're rectangles, okay? And I'm gonna show you what the die looks like. I have not cut these out, all right? I haven't cut paper for these, but here's one. That's the largest. There's another rectangle. This is the rectangle we'll actually use on this piece of paper. Then you've got three squares, so it looks like three rectangles and then the three squares. And they all have that whimsical stitch, so it's pretty cool. All right. We're going to also add a B, and we're going to be stamping. Are we stamping the B? Let's see. I may already have one cut out for you. I think I do. Hang on one second. I'll let you all look at the card. I've got to grab my, oh, I know where my B is. Right here. Okay. All right, I've got the B. I lost him, but he, he flew away, but he is back. <laughs> I know the texture is so cool on these, and I can't believe, you know, we've been in our new catalog since January, and I'm just getting to these stitched, um, the whimsical stitch, and I love it. It's really awesome. Okay, so um, I've already done this. I've already done this, but all you do is I, I measured the piece of Whisper White for you, and then you just lay this, all right, in the center. And hang on, and I'll show you the sandwich. I've already done it to save us a little bit of time. So this is your sandwich. It's platform one and two, page 72, Carol. And then you need a three. That's what you cut out, and then another three plate, all right? And that way, you'll get this beautiful stitching, all right? So we'll be using that again next week as well, and I'll get them all cut out for you, and then you can see sizes and stuff. It's called Stitched with Whimsy Dies, page 72. Thanks, Deborah. All right, so that's that. Now, one other thing to show you. <clears throat> Where did that piece of paper go? All right, two things that I wanna show you. I had a little piece of paper that I was gonna stamp on, and I don't know where it is, but that's okay, because I have this piece. All righty. Okay, all right, so this is our cute little bee right here, and we're going to ink him up in black memento ink. 
Okay, and that's what he looks like when he is stamped. And I also, remember the paper that I showed you with the B? Both of these can be cut out with the B die. So there's one B die right there. I'll go ahead and zoom in for you. And then you see this B here? I'm gonna find the other die. He can also be cut out with the die. And you get two of these dies with the set, okay? So you all knew I had to have that, right? Because it had a B on it. <laughs> now I've already taken the time to cut mine out. So you don't have to watch me do that. You might have to watch me do it on another card. So we're going to color this. And let's see if I can get the actual card back in here. Yes, there we go. I'm gonna put the card right here and then I'll be telling you the blend colors that I'm using, okay? I'm actually gonna start with Light Magenta Madness. <clears throat> and I'm basically just coloring these little petals here, okay? So these are like wildflowers growing. Oh, you can't even see me color. Hang on. There we go. All right. And this will only take a few minutes for me to do. And um, like I said, I'm using the light magenta. All right. Okay. How many of you noticed the Dandy Garden Suite? Did anybody notice it in the mini? Now I'm going to take the Dark Daffodil Delight and I'm just gonna color the centers right there, okay? And now I'm going to, um, let's see what I should do. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna get the stems done and I'm gonna use Dark Old Olive and I'm just doing some outlining here along these leaves. And, oh, here's another leaf. Okay, there we go, hang on. I zoomed in so close. There we go, now you can see the whole thing. All right, let's see. Um, I think that's good. And then I'm gonna take the light old olive and I'm gonna color in the leaves here, okay? And there's another one. And here we go. And I'm just coloring in these leaves with the lighter, all right? And then I'll take the stems. Carol, I'm sure you noticed this set because of the B. Because I remember when we got the mini for the first time, I went through it looking for any Bs that they might have. All right. So I'm just kind of touching on these stems. We are gonna color those little flowers between these stems, okay? All right, so do that. But they're pretty easy to do. And it's just wildflowers, that's all. All right, there's another leaf right there. Okay, um, Sandy, earlier this evening, I had a, cup, a, a couple of customers having a little trouble placing orders. Um, one of my customers, the hostess code would not work. Um, that's the only thing that I have heard of. 
but just keep in mind, Stampin' Up! has been extremely busy today. I know when I called this morning, um, I had to wait about 10 minutes on the line. So they're just super busy, so just be patient, all right? All right, these little flowers I'm gonna do in light, misty moonlight, all right? And for anyone ordering tonight, you're gonna get that free shipping when your order's at $50. And you're going to get your free card set, which are tonight's cards. Free shipping on that too. Um, you get a tutorial with 16 cards and techniques. And you earn a B. So if you were ever thinking about ordering, I think this is the time because you get lots of little specials tonight. And I love the free shipping and I think Stampin' Up! does this maybe once a year, maybe twice if we're lucky. So this is, it's unusual. We usually don't have the free shipping. All right. I'm gonna go ahead, you know, I wanna show you in the original card, I did Calypso Coral for those little pieces there. But you know what? I'm kinda liking this Misty Moonlight. So I'm gonna continue with Misty Moonlight. So, I mean, that shows you, even if you don't have a certain Stampin' Blend, um, you can substitute it and use a different color. So, all right, that might, I think that's everything that I need to color there. Oh, here's the one thing I didn't show you and I just noticed, and we are going to do this. Do you see this stitching right here? It's kind of like the bee is flying down towards the flowers. We're actually going to do that with the Big Shot. And it comes out of the die set that goes with the dandelions. And this is the piece right here, okay? So let me show you the stamp set that it goes with. The Garden Wishes is the stamp set with the dies, okay? And so this is the die that we are gonna use, okay? <clears throat> All right, yeah, I'm sorry you're having so much trouble ordering, that's no fun. We want to make it easy, right? Okay, so we are going to need this. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we're going to add this beautiful stitching right along here. Okay? So hang tight. I'm going to bring in our stamp and cut emboss machine for this. We've got platform one, platform two. Here is three. I am going to add the die about right there, okay? And it's actually in a different place than it was on the original card, okay? But that's all right. Okay, I'm gonna move this back out of the way. And I'm gonna take it off, and there is my beautiful stitching. And that's one of the funnest dies in this whole collection. Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead, let's put our card together. You'll see that the color from the coloring has seeped to the back, and that is okay. That's normal, all right? Now we're going to center this. And we're going to have about an eighth of an inch all the way around, okay? And we're going to pop it up. I know, Diane, that's my favorite piece. I love it. Love that piece. It's so fun. You can use it for butterflies, dragonflies, bees, anything like that. All right, make sure that I'm opening my card correctly. And then I'm going to position this about right here. Okay? And we do need to stamp this. And I just need to find my tray. 
Here we go. I had to move the tray. And we're gonna stamp this in Misty Moonlight, all right? <clears throat> I think my allergies are starting to bug me a little bit. Every day now I'm kind of clearing my throat. All right, so I'm gonna use Wishing You All the Best and I'm going to stamp that right in the center. Now you can certainly stamp before you do your cutting out or your die cutting, all right? You can do it either way. Okay. And now we're going to take this piece of designer paper and it's three inches long and it's about three quarter inches wide. I'm just gonna run some seal around the back there and what I'm doing is I want a little bit of that paper to show, okay? I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. I, I am gonna pop this up, and I know you're surprised by that. All right. Joyce says, do you think that bee trail would work with the fireflies? Ooh, from Paper Pumpkin last year. <gasps> I don't see why not. Joyce, I think that's a great idea. I remember that. I do remember that stamp set. All right, so now I've layered this here. We're going to add one of our ladybugs. And like I told you, um, they work great with their glue dots. I'm just gonna sit the ladybug on the glue dot Thank you, Sandy. I'm so glad you like it. And then I am going to put that right there. Now we have one more thing and that's the B, okay? Remember I told you I had already cut out the B? I colored the B with uh, man uh, Mango Melody, the light Mango Melody blend. Okay, I did that earlier today, so I cheated a little. And this is Smoky Slate, Light Smoky Slate for the wings. And then I'm gonna add that B right there. And you know what? That is going to make it, make that card. So let me zoom in. I'm gonna use a little Wink of Stella. I know the stitching is awesome, Sue. Love the stitching. And, and you know what? I just pulled the stitching out today for the first time. I cannot believe it. Well, I've been missing out. All right. And that's our second card this evening. All right. I'm so glad you all like it. Thank you very much. All right. Well, let's look at card number three. It is right here. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna take a sip of water. <clears throat> okay, so let's see here. Here's my next tray. Now you all can see what my little trays look like. Got everything in there. I'm just gonna, I'm making some space. Okay, <clears throat> so for our third card here, we are using Misty Moonlight. Oh, please case it. As a matter of fact, Tina, I'm glad you said that because part of that card is cased. So let me show you all. Um, right here. This is the card in the book and this is the card we created. And so that's exactly where that inspiration came from. So it's amazing just, you know, looking at the book, how much it can help you. Okay, Misty Moonlight, again, five and a half inches wide, eight and a half inches long, and it's scored at four and a quarter inches, okay? And then our designer paper, is measuring five and a quarter inches 
by four inches, okay? And we're going to add this. Look at those bees. There they are. I need a whole package of this. And I think I have hit the end. So I'm gonna show you all how I change my dispenser, okay? This one's empty, and there's that little red thing telling me that. I've gotten to the end, and now I'm gonna open this up. Oh, thank you, Joyce, thank you. Uh, oh, thank you, Sally, I'm glad you like the ladybug. Thank you, ladies, you make me feel great. All right, so here's the applicator and the refill, and I'm gonna stick Oh, hang on a second, hang on, something's going on here. <gasps> Guess what? Do you all see that? You see that piece? It is broken, and look at the wheel. It's laying up here on the adhesive. Can you believe that? So it's broken, and so what I'll do is, if this ever happens to you when you open one of your refills, call your demonstrator, Okay, and if I'm your demonstrator, call me or email me, and I'll have it replaced for you. And that's exactly what I'll do tomorrow. I'll call Stampin' Up, and they'll replace that for me, all right? Okay, so I don't have any more of that tape over here, but I do have the uh, Stampin' Seal Plus, so I'll just use this, and I won't have to get up. All right, do I have tape there? No. I'm, I, it's hard to see the tape. Okay. So we're going to add this to the card base and it just gets centered. Okay? Just like that. And then, okay, where are you? Here's our piece of B paper. Oh, did it really, Nancy? Um, Nancy, send me an email, and when I call Stampin' Up! tomorrow, I will replace yours as well, okay? They must have gotten crushed, maybe in shipping or something. But please remind me with an email. That would be awesome. Okay, the strip is two inches wide, and it is four inches long, all right? Yeah, if that ever happens to y'all, get it replaced, okay? It's certainly not your fault. Just came that way. All right, and then the bees, um, they really don't have a top and a bottom, so you can just kind of, you know, it's, it, it doesn't have a direction, I guess is what I'm really trying to say, okay? All right, <laughs> okay, so that's that, and then we're going to be using this um, sweetly stitched, and let me show you the die set for this, okay? This one is in your annual book. It's called Stitch So Sweetly, and it's the largest rectangle. And so that's the one that I used tonight to frame this, okay? So these are really nice. Um, I think we've had these for a bit. I think they were launched in the new annual catalog last year. Okay, so that part is cut, and we are going to do our stamping, and it's going to be, um, we're gonna use your acts of kindness are like a breath of fresh air. So let me show you, this one is part of the Garden Wishes, all right? And this is the stamp set that comes with the dies. So as you can see, these two stamp sets are very interchangeable, and it's kind of hard to have one and not the other. So we're gonna stamp first, and I'm just gonna stamp that along the bottom there in misty moonlight. And then remember that stitching that I showed you with that die? Guess what? We're gonna do that again, all right? Because I thought that was fun with the dragonfly. So one more time, let me get the little die out. Here it is. Move that out of the way. Okay. I need a countertop that's about 10 feet long. 
And if it was 10 feet long, it wouldn't be long enough. I still wouldn't have enough space. Okay, so here are the words right here. I'll turn it this way, that'll be better. You don't have to look sideways. Um, let's see, it really doesn't matter which way you turn it. It's just not gonna matter, okay? It's just gonna be so cool looking when you do it. I'm gonna put it about right here, all right? And that'll give space for the dragonfly. All right, so right there's where it's going. And I'm gonna roll this through. And there it is. What do you think? That's our favorite piece for sure. All right. So I'll move that. I'm going to bring this back in and we can go ahead and pop it up. Okay. And last week when we did the butterflies and we looked at the, um, the different dies with the butterfly set, you can use a lot of those things with this set too. All right, and by the way, this is Whisper White. Okay, and now we're gonna work on our butterfly. And this time I'm going to use the other design, all right? So let's see here, I need, um, what did I want? Let's look at the original. The original is stamped in the misty moonlight. So I'll just do that since I'm not coloring it. Hey Billy, welcome. Thank you so much. I'm just gonna stamp our dragonfly in the center. And by the way, when my stamps are already inked, another tip, I just put them in another tray, and then later I can go back and clean them, all right? And if you ever have questions as far as, as cleaning them, I'm happy to show you that too. All right, so this is ready to go in to the punch. All right, we've got it nice and centered. I'm gonna pop that out, okay? And then we have our dragonfly. Now, I need to show you something. This piece of designer paper right here, okay? You can actually punch out the dragonflies. So let me show you. You can insert it, okay? But I wanna show you something else. When you do that, that little dragonfly doesn't line up, okay? So believe it or not, you have to cut these dragonflies out separately. And I'm gonna show you what I mean right now. Oops, I almost cut the wing off that dragonfly. I had to cut the dragonfly out, and I'm not sure why this is designed this way, and if you're a demonstrator watching and you have any tips, please let me know. I'm using a post-it. And then I'm just gonna insert this. And then I can punch out the dragonfly, okay? So we could even use this on the card if we want. Now, let me show you something else. The same thing happens with the dragonflies. You can punch out this size dragonfly. This one is smaller. So this is the size that coordinates with the punch. So let me see if I can find one. Here's one of the dragonflies here. And I'm gonna use a post-it note here. They come in handy. Okay, hang on. And then we're gonna insert and now that one can be punched out, okay? And I can take off the post-it note stuff, but there's your dragonfly, okay? Right there. So I don't know what the reasoning is that they don't line up. I'm actually very surprised 
that they don't line up. So if you all have any inside scoop, let me know, okay? All right, so we're gonna add our dragonfly and we're gonna pop it up. So let's use the minis. We'll put one on the head and then we'll put one about right there, okay? All right, I'm looking for one stamp and I'm pretty sure that's stamped in Bumblebee, yes. We're gonna do a trick that I did not do <laughs> um, on the original card, okay? All right, let's hope this works out. This outline can also be used, and let me move the ink. I should have stamped this before mounting it to the card, but I actually just thought of this. All right, I've inked it in Bumblebee. I'm gonna stamp off, and I'm gonna stamp right there. I want you to look at what happens. Let me zoom in. You get this shadow which is really cool. All right, we're gonna do it again. I've inked it in Bumblebee. I'm stamping off. And I'm gonna go over here to this side. All right. And then I'm gonna mount this butterfly. I did not do this on the original card. Oh, and you know what? I forgot to stamp those wings, but you know what? That's okay. All right. Now that's the card. Do you see the wings under there? So here are two different cards. The original's on the left. With the original, I stamped the wings and used Wink of Stella. On this one, I've got the little wings under there. I think you get a better idea now. Okay, and you can still do the Wink of Stella. I'm going to take um, one of the small dragonflies, put a glue dot on it, and I'm gonna put him about right here. All right. And then we'll add some little embellishments. A bee would have been cute too, but then I couldn't decide where I wanted the bee. So it ended up just staying like this without the B. Thank you, Dawn. Thank, thank you, Ethel. Isn't the shadow technique cool? That's the best part. All right, I'm gonna use some in color dots. All right, and these are the bumblebee ones. Come on. Here we go. I probably should have used my take your pick tool. All right, so those dots are done. And then I'm gonna add some Misty Moonlight. All right, and I'll just put one there. And I'll put one there, make it a little bit different than the original. And where should I do the other one? Where should I put it? Hmm. Sometimes I do this. It's like, what do I do with it? All right, I'm just going to put it down, okay? So that is um, the card we'll give away tonight, okay? And I think even if we bend the wings, you'll see those shadows more. And then here's the other one. I kind of like this one. I am gonna add a little Wink of Stella on the wings. And I'll even zoom in a little closer. Let's see here, there we go. Add that Wink of Stella there. I'm so glad y'all like it. We still have one more card, ladies. Are you up for it? Can we get another card in? All right, and so that's our little Wink of Stella. Okay, and if you don't like the dots on the dragonfly, you don't have to put them there, okay? But those are the cards. Yeah, I love the shadow, Sue. How cool is that? I know. Thank you, Sandy. Thanks, Pam. I'm glad you like it. It's, it's a fun set. It really, really is. Okay, so that's that one. 
And this is going to be our last one. And in this card, I'm showing you how to use those scraps because we always have a lot of scraps left, especially with six by six paper. <laughs> All right, so let me get rid of this tray. And here comes the next tray right here. Okay. All right, well, we're, I'm going to stamp our dandelion, okay, in the black memento. Let's get that done, and we're going to be using our stamp and cut emboss machine, and then we'll assemble the card. And this is the last one that gives us four cards tonight, and we'll have four winners, okay? All right. And let's see, can I stamp this way? I'm gonna stamp this way and save. I think I can. I'm gonna save a little paper, okay? <laughs> yep, dollar store tomorrow. You know, I've been using them, Sandy, for the last couple of weeks. And um, it hadn't even occurred to me to tell you all about them. So we do need to cut some butterfly, uh, some bumblebees. So let me just check to see if I have any already cut or if we're cutting some. And we might be cutting some. Let me check my other tray for some. Aha, here's one bumblebee. I find them in different little places. All right, and now I'll get the dies. Hang tight. Here's the dies. And we're going to need this one right here. And here is one of my bee dies. And I could have put a bee die in one of the trays is what I'm thinking. All right, well, let's go ahead and um, let's get this cut. Back to our machine and I'm gonna zoom out, all right? Carol says this is gonna be her card. All right, Carol, we will see. All right, so I'm just lining up the flower and that should do it. Haha, -ha, but guess what? I gotta move this plate. No, I don't. I need to find my other plate. Hang on. Okay. My other plate has disappeared, so there it is, right there. Okay. There we go. I couldn't see it because it's such a, it's a new plate. It doesn't have the scratches on it yet. All right. I think this is going to take care of it. Maybe. Okay, that ought to do it. All right, sorry about the, the camera shaking. Sorry about that. Okay. So now we're all cut out, and that's the flower we're going to use, okay? All right. Now we're going to cut out one of the bees. And there are two bee dies, but I think one of my bee dies is in the tray. I hope it is. And so we'll just do one at a time. It's probably easier anyway since I don't have the magnetic platform. <laughs> I love it. Carol Hodges is taking the other card. I hear you, ladies. I hear we've got some, uh, we have a war going on here. All right. And then, now, see, this little square was a scrap piece of paper. And so, um, you know, keep those little scraps, you know, if they have the bees on them, um, dragonflies, that sort of thing. You want to keep those little scraps. And then use your other scraps on your cards. All right. And that's going to give me three bees. And I'm still going to save this because I can cut out two bees later. All right. 
Okay. All right, I think I about got it. I'm gonna put that B away before I lose it. And let's bring the card back out. <laughs> Diane's feeling lucky. Margaret wants them all. All right. Okay. Well, we're, we've got a, um, a Mossy Meadow card base, okay? And it's measuring five and a half by eight and a half, and it's scored at four and a quarter, okay? Now, this is a little tricky, this bumblebee paper because the measurement's gonna be a little different than what I usually use. And so it will measure four and one eighth by five, make sure I have this right, five and three eighths, okay? <laughs> I love it. And we're gonna use this piece and put our scraps on it And what I like to do is, I like, with the strips, let me measure them first. Um, the length is gonna be four inches for all, the, all of the strips. There will be five strips, okay? So four inches there, and, and one inch wide, all right? Hey, Simone, so good to have you tonight. Joyce thinks that the Enjoy the Moment stamp set will go well with the Dandy Wishes. I think it will too, Joyce, and I think you just ordered that, so that's gonna be perfect. All right. <laughs> yes, if you're wearing green tonight, um, you'll be in the drawing, okay, for the cards. All right. And Billy, I know you love my uh, my ruler. It's the best. All right, this is going to be the top piece. And so what I'm doing is I'm going to center this. I just turned it around, but this will be the top, okay? All right, so that's first one. Then I'm going to go to the bottom. Here's another piece. So I'll do top, bottom, go back to the top. And we'll do the middle last. Okay, hang on, I've got a little bit of he adhesive right there. All right, and now we're gonna do this one. About right there. We're gonna go back to the top. Now I want you to look at something. This one um, I have here, but um, I'm gonna change it around, okay? I am going to, I had this idea when I was cutting these strips tonight that I wanted to switch up paper, so just hang tight. All right. <laughs> oh, hey, Joyce. Joyce from North Carolina, good to have you tonight. Joyce, I don't know if you know this or not, but you're going to get a free set of these cards because you placed an order today in my online store. All right, so anyone placing an order today through Monday night is going to get a set of cards. Hang on, what am I doing? Oh, I know, I, I wanna do this one next. See, I'm talking and I'm not paying attention. Ooh, okay. The reason that happened is because I'm using Stampin' Seal Plus, which is a strong paper. All right, that is, excuse me. Ooh, that is our strong um, adhesive. All right, hang on. I may have to go get a refill. There we go. All right, hang tight. Get rid of that. So I'm using Stamp and Seal Plus, which is a stronger adhesive, okay? And so that's kind of why it's pulled up the designer paper. Now, if it does it again, I may go and get my other. I'm not sure what's going on now, I can't see. Oh, there we go, okay. Sorry. I wasn't planning on that happening. All right. Okay, ladies, y'all look at the card. I'm gonna get some more stamp and seal.
Okay, so now you know what not to do. <laughs> ah, all right, I'm opening a new stamp and seal, so hopefully this one is not broken. I hope not. Nope, that one is all right. Okay. I'm going to put this back. I'm going to bring out my dispenser. I know, Joyce, isn't that awesome? You get a free card kit. Oh, gosh, I'm having trouble, ladies. What in the world? See, I had tape on that already. And now it's stuck to everything. All right. I'm getting there. Okay. So I'm going to put these two together. There's the big wheel. There's the bigger prong. I'm going to slide those prongs in there. Okay. All right. Now let's see if we can salvage this. All right. And I've got to get this one started. Oh, got it. All right. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one right here. Gracious, who knew that was going to turn into an ordeal? And then we're going to put this one right in the center. Okay, so I changed it up a little bit. And we'll see how this one looks. Um, I hope y'all like this card. I didn't know whether, you know, it was too busy or not. So hopefully it's not too busy. All right. And then, oops, you know what? I almost forgot my ribbon. So let's do ribbon. Almost forgot that. Should have done that before adhesive, of course. And y'all know I love my ribbon. I gotta have it, right? Okay. I'm trying to do this without the paper sticking to the, to the grid paper because it will stick everywhere. All right, I think we got it. <laughs> Thanks, Diane. I do need to tie my string. Yes, ladies. Also, this, your embellishments and stuff come with your little card kit. All right. Okay. Now I can put this down. Here we go. We are getting there. We're going to center this onto the mossy meadow. There we go. Okay, so that little part is done. We'll see if we like it once we um, color and adhere our dandelions. Okay, so I'm gonna get my markers out and I'm gonna show you, do I have that stamp? I do. Okay. So in Garden Wishes, this stamp right here, that's part of Garden Wishes. And then this, you can actually stamp on top. So we're going to do that with, um, with this flower too. All right, and we're gonna use Bumblebee and we're just gonna stamp on top, just like that. Okay, now when it comes to coloring, I am going to, let's see, I think, I'm gonna use the Light Mango Melody, believe it or not, okay? Thank you, I'm so glad you like the cards. We'll see how this one turns out. Now this is Light Mango Melody, and look how nice it looks with Bumblebee. Doesn't that look great? I guess that's why we never got a Bumblebee Stampin' Blend. 
That probably should be old olive or green, and I didn't do that. And then if you want to fill in, you can, or you don't have to, okay? And let's see, I'm gonna take the dark old olive Sandy, I think so too, and I'll show everyone that. So Sandy says that she likes this one better. The stripes on the other one distracted from the flower. And I think that's what we're going to find, and that was my reasoning. Also, I think this competes too much with this, and I think this is actually going to look better. And um, this was the last card that I made today, and I didn't have time to go back and change that. So thank you so much. I think you're right. All right, so these are stems. Oops, you can't even see what I'm doing. These are stems, and um, I'm using dark old olive. And that right there probably should have been green. And here we go. Okay. All right, and for those placing orders today through Monday, I will cut your card supplies on Tuesday and they will ship next Wednesday, okay? And they'll ship first class mail, but it's probably gonna take, you know, three or four days before you receive it, okay? But I like to wait till all orders are in. It makes it so much easier for my cutting. I only cut once. So, um, let's see. Oh, good. So, Nancy says the bumblebee stand out more without the striped background. I know. I cannot wait to put this together to see what it ends up looking like. Anxious to do that, as you can tell by my coloring. But you know what? These are weeds, right? They're just weeds. So they don't have to be anything special. And they'll still it'll still look nice. Okay. And I'm almost there. I think that'll do it. All right. Whoops, there's one. All right, so let's go ahead, pop up this little baby here. I know you're surprised, ladies, that we're popping this up. Okay. So here we go. Oh, thanks, Denise. I'm glad you like it. Here we go. We're gonna put that about right there. And then remember the bees that we cut out? Let's, um, I just dropped one. Where did you go? Okay, so let's put some small dimensionals. I just lost bee number three. <laughs> it's here somewhere. It was literally, I wonder if it's stuck to my hand. I don't see it. <laughs> oh boy. All right, so now this bee will go here. And you can certainly use Wink of Stella on these. And then we've got one bee here. And ladies, I'm telling you, we had a third bee. Where did it go? I don't know. Whoop, here we go, here's one. That one flew way out of the way. Okay, and then y'all can tell me which one you like, but I think everybody likes this one better. 
Okay, now you can also add Wink of Stella to these, okay, which I did on the original. So what do you think? I think the one, <laughs> Carol says, I love my card. <laughs> I love it. I, I'm kind of liking the one on the right, ladies. What do you think? I'm going to add a little Wink of Stella to my bees and my weeds. And then we're going to get ready to have a drawing. All right.